I tend to tease my room setup in a lot of videos and posts, but I do think it's about time that I give you an official room tour since it is where I spend majority of my free time. But before I do, I briefly want to flash back to what I had a year ago and show you how things progressed. As you probably saw from my last room tour, this was my bedroom where I crammed a lot of my collection. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty bland. But then I moved to a new place and this is how the room looked when I first walked into it. And as you saw from the intro video, this is how the room is now. Now with that all out of the way, let's start the room tour. As you may already know, my channel primarily focuses on figure collecting at the moment. So I'm going to start the room tour by showing off my anime figure collection. So here I have four IKEA DTOF display cases that are sitting on a custom built display case riser and in the middle I have a Terravolt Centennial 2 display case. Starting with the left case, the first figures you're going to see are my cultured Neko girls, featuring the Neko Pyro girls and Seelie from Honkai Impact, followed by Raftalia and the Bikini Warrior Hunter. And if you're a Cowboy Bebop fan, you'll recognize these two. And at the bottom we have the Sheshire Cat along with Velvet from Odin Sphere. So one thing you may notice is that I have two-tone display cases with some cable management. And in case you're wondering how I built these, my second video on the channel goes over all the material and how I built them. But please take it with a grain of salt because it is my second video on the channel. But moving to the next display case, we have Obeto at the top, along with our Goddess Story card, which I picked up on eBay. And moving on to the next shelf, this shelf contains my black outfit crew, containing two figures from Gantz in the back and two figures from Nier Automata. And below them we have some lovely ladies in pseudo-traditional outfits which you may recognize Tech Gear Shoshu in the back, and the two ladies in the front are from Full Metal Demon Muramasa. And at the very bottom, we have Shui from No Game No Life, and next to her, Dark Angel Olivia, who I'm pretending to be Jibril since I don't have her figure. Now exploring the Terra Vault case, we have a lot of figures to go over. But before we jump into them, since I know I'm going to get asked this, I do want to say that Terra Vault makes some high quality display cases with some high quality material, but they're very expensive. One major complaint that I have with this case is the lack of cable management. I had to spray paint some cord channels that I bought myself to hide the cables and the LED controllers. And then I taped the cord channels on some thick black electrical tape to hide the white two-sided tape on the cord channels. And I also had to replace the controllers and cables since the originals were bright white and this is a black display case. Back to the figures. Now the top shelf contains Metalia from The Witch and the Hundred Knight, Kalan from Code Geass, Mithra from Xenoblade Chronicles, Angela from Expelled from Paradise, Yuri from Tales of Vesperia, Dizzy from Guilty Gear, Irma from Queen's Blade, Kurumi from Dead Alive, and lastly Mikusuki from Tuken Rambu. So this next shelf has my Persona figures, which includes Joker, Kasumi, Risei, Anne, and Futaba. Followed by Elisa from God Eater, Velvet from Tales of Basiria, and Roy Mercury from Gate. Then we have my Sword Art Online figures, starting with Sinon. Asuna and Kirito. The next two shelves I have dedicated to my Fate figures. And I do want to say that most of my Fate figures have their arcade card next to them. And I did buy the arcade card on eBay since it's only available in Japan. But we have Saber, followed by Ren, then Archer. and MASH. And then we have the Ruler Joan of Arc, followed by the Avenger Joan of Arc, and at the bottom we have Akita, two cards for pre-orders, a Reshkakul, Azamandius, the beautiful Ishtar, followed by another card for another pre-order. But now let's get back to the DTOF display cases. Attack on Titan fans will recognize these three, 
And below them, we have three figures made by Maithos. The summer dress figure is Mei Raiden from Honkai Impact. The green hair figure is Hasune Miku. And the woman in red is Argenta from Dragon's Nest. And this is followed by Rimuru from that time I got reincarnated as a slime. And at the very bottom, we have Ning Guang from Genshin Impact with her transparent goddess story card that I also got from eBay. And finally, our last display case, I have two Ye Sakuras from Honkai Impact. And this is followed by my favorite figure in my collection, which is Mei Raiden from Honkai Impact, along with her goddess story card. And below her, we have the beautiful Hokusai figure from Fate, along with her arcade card. And at the very bottom, we have Plakta sitting on a custom base that I made. I do have a video on my channel on how I made this base if you're interested. And that's my figure collection. Well, at least the figures that I have in my display cases. Now, if you're into manga and graphic novels, I have a collection that makes me pretty excited every time I see it. But to start things off, on the side of my first bookshelf, I have Frostmourne, which I made using Fuse Beats. And for the bookshelves themselves, I have the IKEA Hems bookcases. They're a bit more expensive than the Billy bookcase, but you can easily hide your LEDs behind them. And in case you're wondering, I got the 16.4 foot Govi LED strip lights, and they fit perfectly inside the bookshelf. And starting with my first shelf, we have the majority of my cultured manga along with the Shiro and Shui pop-up parades from No Game No Life. Our next shelf we have Gantz and the classic Battle Royale series. I really wish they would reprint the Battle Royale series since the series has really influenced a lot of franchises over the last 20 years. And on this shelf we have a variety of different manga. We also have the All Might prize figure on the left and the spicy Nami figure on the right. And speaking of Nami, here's my One Piece collection. Basically it's the four box sets of One Piece. And below that, we have the I don't know what I'm going to do with shelf, which is basically the manga that may disappear as I need more space. And at the very bottom, we have part of my graphic novel collection, because I used to only collect graphic novels before I got into manga. The next bookshelf, we have a favorite series known as Berserk, followed by a cultured zombie series and Battle Angel Elida. As for the figure, it's a Hokusai Noodle Stopper from the Fate series. Moving downward, we have a lot of fantasy and isekai books, along with the Raftalia Nindroid. And the next shelf is more of the same. I'm a huge Isekai nerd, so don't be surprised when you see a lot of Isekai. And then we have the Attack on Titan shelf. And here we have some of my favorite manga. First, I want to recommend watching the Land of the Illustrious anime before reading the manga. The anime does a great job at depicting the personality of the characters, while the manga really pushes the plot and in-depth story. And I know I'm going to get some hate for this, but I feel that the Maiden Abyss manga interested me more than the anime, because I learned so much more about the Abyss in the manga. Anyway, at the bottom we have more of my graphic novels, along with my Star Wars Disney Infinity figures. I really love this style of figure, and I'm sad to see them go. Also, lock and key, read the books, don't watch the show, the graphic novels are better. Now, moving on to the next shelf, we have the Full Metal Alchemist Complete series. Then we have the Your Name shelf, along with the Your Name pop-up praise and a custom-built base. If you're interested in this base, I also have a video on how I made it on my channel. Below that, we have the Seraph of the Inn, along with the Record of Lotus Wars, which is a series that I loved growing up, because I'm a D&D nerd. Got some Demon Slayer sitting next to the Grimgar manga. And then we have our Steins Gate and Horror section. And at the very bottom we have some hardcover prints of manga, along with an autograph card that I got from Barnes & Noble. And on the last shelf we have a Cultured Prison School sitting next to the Depressing Poon Poon. Below that we have a lot of colorful Slice of Life manga, along with a Magumin pop-up parade standing in front of our own manga. We got some more colorful books down below. And I want to say that I recently read through Grand Blue Dreaming over the holidays, and that series just blew me away. Like it took three books for me to get into it, but when I did, what a wild ride. Then we have Vinland Saga, which is another favorite series of mine, along with the Death Note box set, which was the first manga I ever read. Then we get the Avatar graphic novels next to a collection of art books. A lot of the titles are in Japanese, so I'll just show what I have on the screen, just in case you're wondering. I do have another bookshelf in the room, but I'm not going to get into it. Here's a glimpse of all the Japanese manga that I have in the room, along with the other Japanese novels that are just chilling here. I do have a bit of art on the wall. As you can see here, we have Rika from Gantz, Link from Zelda Breath of the Wild, and Yor from Spy Family. Below that, I have a basic Yamaha acoustic guitar. It's a great guitar for learning, and also a great guitar for letting guests use. I do have a rack of Blu-rays. You are welcome to roast me on my bad tastes, but I'm not going to go over them. Pivoting around, I do have a Master Chief helmet. I used to be a huge Halo fan back in the day, but I haven't really played a lot lately, though I still love Master Chief, just not the TV series version of him. Then we get into the entertainment station, starting with the LG OLED TV, which is where I watch my movies and shows, play some PlayStation, or spend some time on my Nintendo Switch. Now behind the TV, I have some LED light bars. I just want to say that these things are awesome. Now above the TV, we have some more art. We have the Nier Automata with Cowboy Bebop, 
Battle Angel Alita, and at the bottom we have Cyberpunk Edge Runners. From time to time I'll swap these out with my Final Fantasy and Avatar prints which I have currently stored in my closet. I just don't put them out because I don't want to clutter my wall. My frequent viewers are going to be familiar with this room divider since it's the backdrop that I use in a lot of my videos. And I also have another set of LED lights behind it. And in this corner I have a fake tree which is made up of real tree bark and fake leaves. And sitting next to it I have my Seagull S6 acoustic guitar which is my favorite acoustic. Now gaming is a huge stress reliever for me, so here's my gaming setup. Starting with the obvious, the monitors. I have a 49 inch Samsung Odyssey Neo G9 monitor, which is sitting on an Ergotron ultra wide monitor arm. And on the left we just have an Asus 27 inch monitor, which is resting on an Amazon basic monitor arm. The keyboard is a Corsair mechanical keyboard, which is sitting on top of a Corsair mouse pad. And as for the mouse, it's just a Logitech Hero. And the sound system is also Logitech. And I do have a stream deck, which I use for application hotkeys instead of streaming. And right now it has a Raftalia wallpaper. Now on my left I have an iPad Pro, where I can be either found playing mobile games like Epic 7 or Counterside, or I use it for drawing character art or game UI since I develop my own indie games in my free time. But next to that I have a Lark self-cleaning water bottle, sitting on this really cool circuit board coaster which I got on Etsy. Oh yeah, before I forget, I have an Elgato microphone with the Elgato Wave mic arm, and an Xbox controller for games. Now all of this sits on an uplift pheasant wood standing desk. But now let's talk about the PC. I'm not going to go over all the details, but I'll throw them up on the screen somewhere. But to summarize, the PC is a Corsair Crystal Series case with an Intel 10 chip, an Nvidia 3080 Ti, and 64 gigs of RGB RAM because it's important to have RGB. And all of this sits on a mobile PC stand for better airflow. So yeah, that's about it. A lot has changed since my last room tour and I have a lot more space now. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more content. And as always, I hope to see you all again soon and take care.